All right, you guys, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between anabolic and catabolic. So anabolic is basically a fancy word to say building. And in this case, we're talking about our energy systems, how our body uses carbs, proteins, and fats. So when we say anabolic, that means our body is going to be building muscle. And if it's building or preserving muscle, that means it's able to use carbs and fat as energy. So this is going to be our fat burning zone. This is going to be where we want to be throughout the day. Now when we talk about catabolic, it's going to be the opposite of anabolic. If anabolic is building, catabolic is breaking down. And in this case, it means you're breaking down muscle for fuel, right? Which is not what we want. Because if we're breaking down muscle as fuel, that means we're going to be storing fat, turning our glucose, our carbs, into fat for storage, right? So we're going to go through a typical day and learn how not to be catabolic. All right, we're going to make sure that we're staying anabolic or in a fat burning zone throughout our entire day because once again, most of you guys don't know how to structure your diet, which means you're probably storing fat most of your day. That's why you're not getting the results you want. All right, now with that being said, let's give an example. So I drew you guys this wonderful chart. All right, as you can see, we want to be up here in this top half because this is our anabolic phase, right? That means we're going to be using fat as fuel. If our line ever comes down here, that means, well, now we're catabolic, and that's no good, because that means we're storing fat, right? And then we have the times to represent us throughout our day. So my first example is going to be what I get on average from most of the people who check in with me for the first time ever. And on an average day, I notice you guys probably get about two meals a day, right? So we'll start down here. Let's say that we just woke up, right? You got to remember that you been sleeping for like eight hours. You haven't been eating. So we're going to start in the catabolic phase. Most people, I find, skip breakfast. Why? I don't know, but you guys do. Which means we're not normally getting our first meal until about noon, right? <laughs> noon, right? So we wake up catabolic, we don't eat till noon, and then our next meal is usually dinner, right? So we'll put that at like eight, nine o'clock. We'll just say nine o'clock for fun to make things easy, right? Now, to show you guys this example, we are going to be catabolic until we have a meal. And remember, a meal means you have enough protein to switch you from catabolic to anabolic, right? So, we eat, let's say, some grilled chicken for lunch. Boom. Now, all of a sudden, we're anabolic. And this is going to last us for about three hours. So, it lasts us from noon all the way till three when we drop down again, right? So, now we're back down here. Most of you guys are probably getting a snack in between 3 and 9, but I notice a lot of you guys, your snacks are like an apple, a banana, a granola bar. Once again, there's not any protein, or I should say, not enough protein in those types of snacks to take you from catabolic to anabolic. So even though you're eating something, because there's not enough protein, well, even though we're eating a meal or a snack, we're going to stay in a catabolic phase. Now, then we get home, we eat dinner, usually this is a free-for-all for you guys, whatever, you know, mom or dad or wife or husband is cooking, that's what we're going to eat. But usually there's some protein there, I notice. So, it's going to bump us back up to the anabolic phase. Once again, we'll be there for about three hours, and then we go to bed, right? And from when we go to bed, all the way back here, we'll only be in a catabolic phase. So, let's look at some numbers. So, when we look at this example, you guys are only eating two meals a day. We're going to be in the anabolic phase up here for only six out of the 24 hours out of the day. That comes out to be about one-fourth of your day. So now you're spending three-fourths of your day, the majority of your day, storing fat. Does it make sense why you're not getting the results you want yet? Does it make sense why you're holding on to fat so much? All right. When we structure our diet, we've got to make sure that there's enough protein throughout our day. This is why. All right, so now let's look at an example of what you guys should be doing, spreading out this protein throughout your day. So we're still going to start in this catabolic phase because it doesn't matter what you're doing. You've been sleeping for at least three to four hours, so we're going to be starting in this catabolic phase. The difference with this person is they're going to eat a meal right when they wake up, right for breakfast, which is immediately going to bump them up, right? Then we go throughout our day. We'll get really close to going back under because this is four hours. But we're going to eat another meal here, so it's going to bump us boop, right back up. Okay? We're going to make sure we get a snack three hours from there. And this snack could be you know, a protein shake, a protein bar. Hell, you can have another meal, chicken and rice, veggies, things like that. right? So we're staying up here in this anabolic phase. 
Now, for those of you guys who are working out, you should be working out, you're probably going to drink a post-workout protein shake. I notice a lot of you guys probably work out around 5, 5.30, which means 6, 6.30, you'll be drinking that protein shake. Now, although it's not a meal, it'll be more of a snack, there's enough protein in there to keep you anabolic, right? And you know what? Even if you don't work out, you should still be getting some kind of snack or meal again right here. And then, of course, this person's still going to eat dinner, right? Boop! and they stay in a box, and then they'll stay in a box for three hours until they go to bed, right? So let's look at the math on these numbers. So you can already see that now you're gonna be in the anabolic phase 15 out of 24 hours versus six out of 24, right? Let's break that down into percentages. That's gonna be 62.5% of your day you are spending burning fat. Think about how much your body would change. That's crazy, right? This is the concept I have so much trouble getting people to understand. How we're going to eat more food throughout the day and it's going to help you reach your goals. People are like mind blown. Well, Roy, how does that work? How do I eat more and lose weight? Well, the idea isn't just losing weight. It's about how can we burn fat. You burning fat is going to get you the body that you want. It's going to get you that confidence back, right? So, this is what we want. We want to be here. We want to be in this anabolic phase all right here. So the biggest question I get though is, well, Roy, I don't want to eat that many meals because I don't want to eat that many calories. That scares me. Well, let's think about this. If your plan has you eating 1,800 calories a day, you can eat one meal and get 1,800 calories. You can eat three meals and get 1,800 calories. You can eat five meals and get 1,800 calories, right? Nobody's making you increase this number. We're just taking this number and spreading it out, right? Spreading it out throughout these meals, right? So that is the key to you burning fat, getting the body you want, is figuring out how to be up here in this anabolic phase. Now, understand that if you were only doing two meals before, well, if you just add in one more meal, if you start doing three meals a day, it's not the best, it's not five meals, but that's still better than doing two. Your body's gonna respond positively to that as long as you do it consistently. Then you jump up from three to four, right? Let's take baby steps here if you need to. So I hope this chart makes sense. Um, if you have any questions about it ever, 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 just let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you structure your diet the best for you, all right? So this is why we do five to six meals a day. This is why we get results so much because once people understand this concept, they instantly start burning fat throughout their day. And that's the goal, you guys. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Let me know if you ever have any questions. 